Hello guys and welcome back to yet another ANC video. Antara has recently sold over 1.5 million shares of APE and is acquiring 1 million shares of AMC common stock. Now, dread is beginning to set in. AMC is having a fantastic day, up 5.5% and breaking out above both of the major moving averages, so we'll discuss everything that's occurring here today. And if this continues for the remainder of the day, we're likely to go much higher. In this video, we'll also discuss the potential direction of AMC stock. Due to the lack of economic data until Thursday and Friday of this week, we will discuss what occurred today and what will occur tomorrow. Today is Thursday, so let's discuss it. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for listening in today. If you haven't already, click the like button and then subscribe to the channel. First things first then, I would like to begin with the data that was released today because it is not encouraging. So the US GDP grew at a rate of 1.1% in the first quarter, despite mounting evidence that the economy is declining. At 1.1%, this would appear to be a positive development, as it is better than being negative. However, the estimate was 2%. The Atlanta Fed GDP Now Tracker predicted 2.6% growth. Two weeks ago, so far, worse than anticipated. Again, the article's headline states that there are indications that the economy is now declining due to inflation. This is a fascinating read. This is a quarterly comparison. Therefore, it is comparable to the first three months of 2022 and 2023. Inflation was greater than anticipated during the quarter, with the PC price index increasing 4.2% versus the 3.7% forecast. So not acceptable. Not acceptable. And? I suppose I sensed that the markets would be down more today if it weren't for Meta's release and phenomenal earnings. Therefore, Meta is up 14%, Apple is up 2%, and Amazon is up 4%. Overall, today was a very solid day for the markets. Now, tomorrow's economic data will be monumental. So, at 8.30 a.m., you will receive the core PC price index month over month. For the month of March, you anticipated a 0.4% month-over-month increase. Which is it? Um, go ahead. 0.4 times 12. That would be an annualized rate of 4.8%, which is excessively high and would be problematic. Also, at 8.30 a.m., you will receive personal income for the month of March, which is anticipated to increase by 0.4% month-over-month. Again, an annualized rate of 4.8% is not very encouraging. Not really in accordance with the 2% inflation target for monthly personal spending. You anticipate that to be minus 0.2. This is likely the greatest thing we could say. If personal expenditure falls, it will be beneficial for inflation. However, at what expense to the economy? In today's after-hours session, Amazon, Intel, and Snapchat are scheduled to release earnings reports. So that will be the question on everyone's mind. Those are likely to be the major ones. In addition, Cloudflare First Solar, Pinterest, Khalid, and Amgen also report earnings. In spite of this, AMC stock is currently up nearly 6%. You have broken out above important moving averages such as the 50-day and 100-day moving averages. Now, the price has surpassed these two moving averages. They're in such close proximity. On 25 April, as of April 26, and now currently. Today is the first day that you've significantly surpassed these moving averages. Who knows what the remainder of the day holds for us? The markets have a tendency to do this and then drive you down by day's end. Consequently, this is a possibility. I wish to make this known. But from our current position, if we were to conclude at this level, we can forget about AMC going higher. If we were to close at this level or above these moving averages, which appears highly probable, it would be a negative candle if we close below these averages. You are extremely inclined to proceed. And as this hammer-shaped candle indicates, the bullish reversal is in full effect. Moreover, as I also indicated, you're probably going to retest this resistance line at the range's upper end, which is the upper end resistance line. This will amount to approximately $6 to $6.50 per share. The 200-day moving average is currently near $7 per share. These are the ranges I'm personally aiming for. 
If we can maintain this close or price until the end of the trading day today, we will be successful. Thus, a tremendously powerful move here. Now let's examine what is genuinely occurring beneath the surface, and it's quite intriguing. So Interior Capital. They genuinely purchased 1 million common shares of Class A stock. In addition, they sold 1.5 million AP shares. Ha! Huh, that is intriguing. So what does this demonstrate? However, they still hold a significant position. Keep in mind that they are not selling everything they own as quickly as possible but they are taking steps to mitigate the situation. This risk associated with being extremely long AP and short AMC. As previously stated, Ontario Capital is now invested in AMC, which is a hedging strategy. In previous videos, when hedge funds begin to experience the FUV dread, uncertainty, and doubt that this trade may not go through, they are required to either cover their short positions or hedge out their short positions. Or, if they are long a primate and do not have a position in AMC, they must hedge that position in some way. Therefore, if you are long an ape as a hedge, your position would be to purchase AMC. This is why I have discussed the tailwind, and a tailwind is a type of wind that pushes against your back. The postponement of this court date is a typically long-lasting favorable factor, and this is why I believe AMC stock will trend upwards. I'm not anticipating the same explosive move that I was anticipating after court proceedings, as it's clear that we didn't receive any meaningful new information. A postponed court date was the bare minimum we could have anticipated. I expect more hedge funds that are long AMC or own ape to purchase AMC in order to protect their positions in the event that this court date is cancelled. Thus, this is an intriguing move, and I believe that other hedge funds are beginning to contemplate or implement a similar strategy. Now, let's provide you with an overview of the AMC circumstance and the data at hand. Therefore, the live short interest of free flow is 26.37%. The free cash flow loaned at 36.21%. Loan shares have 187 million days to cover. We last knew that the cost to borrow was approximately 5.25%, with a three-month average of 259% and 100% share utilization. Currently, the quantity of AMC stocks sold short is $706.5 million. Thus, these figures are beginning to rise. And if AMC rallies to, say, $6 or $7 per share, you'll be approaching $1 billion in short positions in AMC, which will make those costs to borrow fees even more exorbitant to pay out. As you can see, max, that the cost to borrow yesterday was 364%. They are up 14.15% on the day, and that certainly demonstrates it. Intel could be a potential weakness. Amazon could represent a weakness. Thus, you are receiving the weaker equities that are reporting today. Let's be honest, they're even for solar and their face will likely plummet like a rock for solar. They have witnessed this sort of sympathetic effect. Um, however, today's earnings may not be nearly as impressive as those from Tuesday and Wednesday, gentlemen. So this is the item that I will be keeping a close eye on today, and to confirm that AMC does indeed close above these moving averages. And if we do, we'll be off to the races from here on out. That concludes the contents of this video. Select the like option. Subscribe to the channel and post your comments, queries, or concerns in the section below. Thank you for viewing, and I'll see you in the next video.